Hey everyone, this is Christine with Left Side Art. Today I have another art journal page for you. I'm working in my Large Dilutions art journal. And this is one that I've been using, so hopefully you're familiar with it by now. But it is um, filled with large pages of mixed media paper. And what I like to do is glue two sheets together at a time, only because I like to use heavier embellishments and it just makes the book a little bit sturdier. I've also had to remove several pages, which I'll just use and make into a smaller journal because my book was getting so thick. What I'm doing here is uh, layering the pages with the matte medium. And you can use gesso as well, but this I think works a little bit better as a glue. And I am using some paper here that I got at um, Michael's Craft Store in their open stock paper area. And all it is just, it looks like wood. So I'm sure you can find something like that if you wanted to get something like this. Um, and what I'm doing is just gluing it down and then after it dries, I will cut around the pages. Don't do this while it's wet or else you just keep pulling up the, the sides. And then I'm just layering that same matte medium over top of the pages. And this is because I'm gonna add some other media to it and it just makes the paper non-porous. And this matte medium that I'm using is by Ranger. It's called Multi Medium Matte. But you know, you can use um, basically any gel medium. I don't like the high gloss, but if that's the look you're going for, you can do it. This is matte means it's just not gonna be super shiny when you're done. Now to add to my background, I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out some coffee cups and some leaves. Found these stickers also at craft stores and they are somewhat dimensional they're already kind of poofy and they got have a little sticker on the back um, they are going to go all over my background but before I do that I want to darken up this wood a little bit I am using distress crayons um, primarily set number three this is the black soot and this is where that gel medium comes in handy as you apply I'm sorry, this is the, more of the brown color. I'll add the black soot here in a minute. Um, as you apply these crayons, it just helps move the product around um, since we already have that gel medium on there. And you don't really need to wet it. If you wet it, it will kind of just act like a watercolor almost. It will just kind of like disperse. But if you just move it around with your finger, it just is the best way to apply these uh, crayons.
now that I have that done this is where I'm going to scatter these stickers throughout the background the back was pretty sticky so I didn't have to add any additional glue this big leaf is just something I happen to have it's pretty old I have no idea where it came from um, but that is going to be the start of my focal point off to the side Okay, now we have our background done. The next step is to create a focal object. And since I already started this with the leaf, I just want to add some more layers to it before I um, add in those coffee cups that I had cut out earlier. And this is just a piece of scrap paper I had laying around. Just everything was so horizontal on here, I wanted to give it a little bit of a vertical um, image as well. And these are the leaves I ended up cutting out. I'm just applying them with that same gel medium which works very nice as a glue and as I'm applying it I'm also making sure I apply it to the fronts of the leaves and the paper that I laid down so that everything is non porous when I go to add other media it will um, lay on top of it nicely. And this is the stamp set that came with the coffee cups. I'm just using black archival ink and I'm going to stamp these. I originally thought about giving this some dimension with the additional little sleeves. I ended up throwing those out, but the only thing I was doing was just adding a little bit of black ink where the image didn't completely stamp. And then I am using the same Distress Crayons on this. Uh, I did not put gel medium or anything on here, so you can see a little bit of the difference on how the product moves on just plain paper. I just trying to smudge it, I was trying to move it around, and it making a little bit of a mess, and that's why the gel medium does come in uh, so handy with this type of product. The Scribble Sticks by Dina Wakely ended up working out really well on this cardstock. I'm just using some various colors and you can layer these on here. I was pretty impressed on how well these did lay down without having any gel medium or gesso already applied to the paper.
Now I'm ready to start gluing the coffee cups down. And since these do have a stamp that goes outside of the cutout area, you stamp it to your background if you want those lines to continue and then you just glue the coffee cup on top of the centerpiece. And for this last step, I pulled out my label maker and it's creating your message. This label maker is very easy to use. It has different fonts and things like that. You can put different color paper in it, but I just went simple and whatever font it was already in there, what was already loaded, I just printed out um, my message. And this it comes with a sticky back too. You have to peel off a thin strip and then you can stick it on. So I'm just going to continue adding some details here and there on my layout and if you want a copy of this you can go to my website the link is below and download a copy completely free just go on there and download either for tablet phone or laptop I just have three different sizes there um, and it will have the month and year imaged on top of it and if you want it without the month and year, there will also be a link over to ArtPal where I sell some of my art. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.